computer. Okay, so we're, we're live. So, hey, Lon, thank you for joining. This is our work from home uh, quarantine special on LinkedIn <laughs> and maybe a few other channels too, if I can figure out how to upload it to some other channels. Um, we're going to be talking about the future of dairy. So would love to, to hear a little bit more about you and particularly about Eclipse. What does Eclipse do? Yeah, so thanks for having me. This is uh, special times and uh, special conversation. For sure, for sure. So, so Elon, could you, could, you, could you tell us a little bit more about um, Eclipse and, and why you started Eclipse? Of course, yeah. So Eclipse, uh, we make plant-based dairy products that are indistinguishable from their animal counterparts. Uh, what that means is that we've actually created a milk that functions like a dairy milk from plants. Uh, and so in the same way that you would use a cow's milk to make ice cream or cheese or sour cream, use our milk to make those same products. And the result is plant-based dairy products that have the taste, texture, and functionality of conventional dairy. Which is amazing. So I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about Eclipse being the uh, impossible foods of dairy. Um, I, I, I don't know whether you are or not. I just know your, your ice creams are delicious. Um, I, I've had them. Um, I definitely think that the taste, the flavor, the texture is great and fantastic. I mean, it's, it's what I remember dairy, dairy being. Granted, it's been a couple years since I've had dairy, um, at least that I've knowingly had dairy. Um, so would love to kind of get your idea of, you know, where are you going to with Eclipse and, and where do you think the dairy industry is going over the next like decade or so? Yeah, this is a great question. And yeah, we've been called in the press the impossible foods or the beyond meat of dairy. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you say, the products are, are, are indistinguishable. We actually did a, a blind taste test where we put um, our ice cream next to the best selling ice cream in the United States, which is Breyers. Uh, and side by side blind taste test, 77% uh, of people said that ours is actually creamier than the best-selling dairy ice cream. Amazing, so creamier than, than Briars, right? I, <laughs> I remember growing up with Briars, so maybe, maybe kids of the future will grow up with Eclipse. And so that's, that's the question of like, where do we go, right? That's the, kind of the second part of the question. Um, we look at Impossible and Beyond, and they've proven something really critical. And that is that once you create a product that is indistinguishable, that actually is really, really similar to the animal counterpart, then you can start bringing in that mainstream consumer in. So instead of the vegans and vegetarians, actually over 90% of the consumers of Beyond Meat, for example, are actually flexitarians or omnivores, right? People who eat everything. So what I see as the future of dairy, right, is products like Eclipse coming out um, that have the taste, texture, and functionality of dairy, really targeting that mainstream consumer and then bringing like a massive amount of people over to eating plant-based dairy products. Uh, we're talking not according to me, according to the CEO of Dannon, uh, he says that over 50% of dairy products are going to be plant-based uh, in the coming years. And he's a that's dairy a, guy. That's a huge statistic. So 50%, 5-0, 50% is going to be plant-based dairy. And that's what he says, And right? Like he's a dairy guy. Um, I'm on the plant-based side. I really see what kind of incredible products we're able to create. Um, not all of them commercially available. But I think that as these products come out and other companies bring out incredible products, we're going to hit consumers in the three decision-making criteria that, that they use to decide what food they want, right? How does it taste? What's the price? And is it available? And if we can win on all three of those, taste, price, convenience, then we can actually change people to eating more plant-based. And, and I think 50% is a huge number, but it's realistic. And I think it can be even higher than that. That's just mind blowing. I mean, when you start to think about that is a mass market product, right? So plant-based dairy, 50% penetration is a mass market. Um, and, and in some cases, uh, assuming that the penetration in some areas and some markets is higher than 50%, obviously, because it averages out, that, that means the majority market is going to be plant-based for, for, uh, for a lot of dairy. And that's, that's the CEO of Dan and basically saying that, which is kind of wild. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so we'd love to get your, Elon, would love to get your experiences. So I know you went through Y Combinator. Y Combinator has been doing a lot of uh, investing in future of food. You have also had an investment from Initialized Capital, Lexis O'Hannon, um, and the team over there uh, have invested. So we'd love to hear about your experiences like a founder, as an entrepreneur, uh, kind of starting a company and then, um, and then, you know, raising money from really incredible name brands. Yeah. And we have one more really incredible name brand 
which I can't announce today, but I'd be able to announce in a few weeks. So, all right. So we're looking yeah. forward to hearing all about that. <laughs> that. That is, yeah, it's exciting news for the whole team. Yeah. Um, yeah, the experience has been incredible. I mean, about five years ago, I learned about the Impossible Burger. Um, and I realized that, wow, there is this opportunity to take innovation and technology and use it to create good in the world and specifically good that I care about. Like my, my life mission for the last six years has been to create a more healthy, humane and sustainable food system. Mm -hmm. um, and my background has been in entrepreneurship and innovation. And so when I learned about the Impossible Burger and it was the meeting of those two worlds, that's when I said, oh man, like this is what I have to do. I have to be in this industry. I have to be creating something that actually changes the food system. And so the path towards that was uh, actually going uh, and working with the Good Food Institute, which is the leading nonprofit in the alternative protein space. Uh, and then from there going and starting Eclipse, which, uh, which has been very exciting because it's, you can't have like anything more gratifying than waking up every day and saying, you know, the mission that I'm working on, that I'm pushing on so hard is actually the mission that I, I care most about. Um, and so that alignment is, is very exciting. And then of course, entrepreneurship is very exciting. Every day is different. I mean, three weeks ago, we were going to launch in uh, places that we will still launch, so I can't announce right now, but uh, launching in really big name places that are very exciting household names. Um, and then today we're not because everyone is uh, under house quarantine. Yeah, um, and, and just a reminder for everyone watching later on, um, so we are in the middle of the uh, coronavirus, the COVID-19 uh, quarantine lockdown. California is currently in work from home lockdown. Um, and so basically it's an all stop uh, for other than the absolutely essential uh, businesses and services. And so, you know, I think, Elon, you know, one of the things that uh, many people who are probably watching uh, are going to be really interested in is they're seeing like this connection between, you know, using and consuming animals and like disease and epidemics and all this sort of stuff, all this stuff that's going on, it's kind of scary at the moment for a lot of people, but you know, a lot of people personally reached out to me, I'm sure they've reached out to you. They want to do something about it. So entrepreneurship is a great path to do things, something about it. So could you tell us a little bit about, you know, your story of like how you figured out how to like, get into Y Combinator and basically raise money for doing something that you're really passionate about. It's better for the planet, the people and the animals. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's really, that's really great that people are reaching out to you as well. I think uh, in the end, the, these pandemics that are coming up and the ones that have come up uh, have a lot to do with animal husbandry and industrial animal agriculture. And I'm not an expert in viral diseases, um, but when you look at the sources, uh, it's pretty clear that animals have a big part to play in a lot of the issues that we face, in addition to climate change and human health issues and things of that nature, right? Yeah. So uh, how can someone who's interested in entrepreneurship get involved and, and be part of it? Uh, I think the first thing is to look at what are the holes in the market, right? What spaces have not been met? And so when we thought about creating Eclipse, it was really that question of, well, what food product, what food category in the market just ha hasn't been developed to actually appeal to the mainstream consumer? And we landed on either seafood or dairy and because my co-founder thomas was the director of product development at hampton creek he created just mayo the cookies he oversaw the team that did the just egg one of the world's experts in emulsions as it turns out and dairy is an emulsion uh right it's it's a milk and it turns into a semi-solid and a solid and all these things so for us we said okay let's create a dairy platform um and then the question of like how did we get into yc and how did we get funding from people who care um, it's sort of, there's, there's two things, right? One is the time and place. Um, we were creating Eclipse when uh, Beyond Meat was just on a tear and then shortly after actually IPO'd. Um, Impossible Foods had just raised a large round. And so there was a lot of appetite in the investor community to be involved in, in the next Impossible Foods, right? And so a big thing was to say, okay, great, we see this momentum and what channels can we use to actually capture that momentum in order to further our mission. And a great way to do that was to tap into that appetite in the, pun intended, in the investor network to be involved in like the next impossible or beyond. And so that's really what we're doing, right? And, and so the promise and the vision aligned. I think the other thing was really the mission because more and, as more and more time goes by, more people understand that climate change is, it's, 
one of the biggest challenges that humanity will face in the coming years. And people want to be behind a company and want to be behind people who are truly making a difference and changing that system. Um, and so actually our, our investor, Alexis Ohanian, he's a mission aligned guy. And he came up to us and he said, I've been tracking you guys, not because you guys are special. I think we are, but not because you guys are particularly special, but because, hey, like I've been tracking this space. Like this is a really important way to solve these problems. So I think just aligning with people who truly believe in what you're doing and what your company's doing, um, it's a great way to, to start that relationship um, to then work together to accelerate the mission. Great. Elon, well, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us in these very unusual times and the, you know, times, uh, I guess, entrepreneurship in the times of pandemic. Um, not to make light of it, obviously, there's a lot of bad stuff going on. A lot of, yeah. unfortunately, a lot of people are, are going to um, pass away because of it. I am hopeful in science, in progress, and technology to help us solve some of these big challenges. But entrepreneurship continues, right? And so, you know, we as entrepreneurs have to kind of continue building and creating change, positive change in the world through the things that we build. So, so thank you so much for all the amazing stuff you're doing and the delicious ice cream you're making with Eclipse. If people want to try some or get hold of you, how do they find out about Eclipse? How do they find out where to go, where to try it once, once we're out of lockdown and quarantine? Yeah, so eclipsefoods.com is a good starting point. You can check out our locations where we're available. A lot of places as of today are shut down. Um, some places are doing delivery, so you can order a uh, delivery, I believe. Um, I'd have to check actually what places are still open and doing delivery. But there, but, there uh, are some deliveries. So, so, so if, they, if they're entrepreneurial, if they're kind of innovative enough, they might be able to find the, uh, the spots they're delivering ice cream, Eclipse ice cream, which would be amazing. That's right. That's right. And of course, follow us at Eclipse Foods. Um, it's a, a nice way to stay in touch and we like to make big announcements there. So that's, uh, that's a great way. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Alon. And thanks for, uh, thanks for the conversation. Let's see how everything goes and stay safe. You too.